Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is Abia. And today I am making you guys a simple and easy recipe that you can easily prepare on a work week. Today I am making you guys pan fried cod fish with an avocado salsa. Now this is a simple and easy recipe that should take you probably only like 20 minutes or so to cook. What we have here is an assortment of vegetables that we're going to use to make our avocado salsa. Okay. So we have, um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to prepare and cut our avocados and place them in a bowl. Yeah. I got some avocado that's not too soft, so it still has a little firmness to it. That's what I like. <laughs> ah. well, that didn't come out good. Okay. So I'm just gonna cut my avocado into squares like that. And I probably should use a smaller knife. Then take a spoon and scoop them out and put them in our bowl. And I'm gonna make the salsa first because uh, that way it allows the ingredients to mix and mingle. Let's see if I got another knife to get this core out. There we go. So I have two avocados here. I love avocados. That's just me. I can eat it like this with some salt on it and be fine. I came up with this recipe because I know the holidays are coming up and a lot of people are eating comfort foods. And you know, and you may want something light. So this is a light meal um, that's good on the waist <laughs> and easy to make. Now you can also add mangoes to this dish, uh, to this avocado salsa if you choose. It's all your preference. Okay, now to this we are going to add in, I have here some Roma tomatoes. I have three of them. So I'm gonna give these a dice. We're gonna dice these up. And you wanna make sure your vegetables that you're putting in here are about the same size. And I like the Roma tomatoes because they don't have a lot of the gut stuff inside. avocados. I think I'm going to add one more tomato. So about two Roma tomatoes. And we are going to add jalapenos. And we're going to take out all the seeds and the membrane. Just scoop it with your with your spoon to get all the seeds and the membranes out. 
And usually I wear gloves when I mess with like hot peppers, like jalapenos or habaneros. Okay, I'm gonna actually add two of them. Probably should have did this in a bowl, but I'm gonna rinse these off and clean up this mess. Okay, so we have our jalapenos and we're gonna just dice these up as well. And we're gonna add this to our bowl. There we go for the jalapenos. And we're going to add red onion. So how are you guys? Are you guys been doing pretty good? I hope you are having a great week. And it's getting cold here in Missouri. <laughs> definitely getting very cold here. So we have our red onion and we're gonna dice these up as well. Okay. Red onions add a sweet taste to it. We don't want too much because red onions are very powerful when they're raw. We're just going to give them a, a dice. I think this would be enough, which is probably like a half a cup. Yeah, about a half a cup of diced red onions. Okay, like that. So we're gonna add that. Okay, and now we are going to add some diced cilantro, which I've already cleaned and everything ahead of time, guys. We're just gonna give these a rough chop. I mean, cilantro, I thought I said jalapenos. <laughs> yeah, cilantro. I'm just gonna give these a rough chop. There's one thing I learned in nutrition class is the phrase of sometimes when you're eating vegetables and things, taste the rainbow, you know? Vegetables of different colors give you different nutritional value. And I think the rainbow is definitely in this bowl. So we're gonna add our cilantro to the bowl. There we go. And to this, we are going to add lemon. Uh, to this, we are gonna add lime juice. That's what I meant to say, y'all. <laughs> so um, the juice of one lime. And also this helps the lime juice and an acidity in the lime, helps your avocados not to turn brown. Okay. Perfect. 
And then we are going to add some sea salt or just table salt to this as well. Give it a mix. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Delicious. Avocado salsa. Let's give this a taste. This looks like a bite that has everything in it. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Delicious. It tastes so fresh. Delicious. So I am actually going to set this aside, put this in the refrigerator, and clean up my mess. And then we are going to prepare our codfish. Okay, so here we have our codfish. And um, yes. Come on. And I'm going to give these a quick rinse. And then we're going to pat these dry. Okay. Here is our codfish, rinsed, and we're going to just pat these dry just to remove the extra moisture. Now this is not the frozen codfish that you would just get in the freezer aisle. This is fresh cod. I found that to me, the frozen cod just has too much moisture in it. Guys, too much moisture and I don't know. I prefer the fresh. So we're just petting them dry just to remove. Yeah, like if you get the frozen and if you squeeze it, water comes out. I don't like that. <laughs> you know, especially if you're paying for the weight of your fish, you'll be paying for water. Okay, so these look pretty much dried. Yeah, so now we're going to season our fish, and it's going to be a really simple seasoning that we're going to use. So here I have some garlic powder. Onion powder, and we're going to season both sides. Onion powder. Black pepper. Oops, some salt, okay, and we're going to add some Old Bay seasoning, and you know, I think I'm going to put some smoked paprika on there, because I don't know, <laughs> I just love the taste and the color of smoked paprika, but there's our Old Bay and some smoked paprika, okay. Pat that in, flip them over, and we're going to season the other side the same exact way. Okay, 
Okay, guys, so my burner's on. And here I have some all-purpose flour. Because we're going to coat the fish as well with some flour, seasoned flour. So I'm just going to add some flour to the plate. And I'm going to season my flour with the same mixture. So some smoked paprika. I love saying it. Paprika. <laughs> some pepper. Onion powder. Garlic powder. And some Old Bay. This is coming out too slow for my liking, so I'm going to use the pour. And I'm going to put a, There we go. Okay. And I'm going to give this a mix. That way, it adds another depth of flavor for your fish. Okay. And... That looks well seasoned to me. Okay. So I'm going to take my fish and coat it in the flour. Pat it down, making sure that the flour is actually sticking to the fish. Well coated on each side. Okay, shake it off, set it to a side, and you're going to do this for however much cob you decide to cook. All right, our pan is hot, and you want to cook this over a medium-high heat, and we're going to add some olive oil to our pan. and some butter to our pan. Let that melt together. Now we want to, we're gonna add our cod fish. Maybe it could have been a little hotter but we're gonna cook them for three to four minutes on each side. Okay, it's been about four minutes and I actually let mine cook for about five minutes because my oil wasn't as hot as I liked it. So let's go ahead and carefully flip these over. Look at that golden brown color. Oh, la, 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 la. Flip this over carefully because it's a delicate fish like that just broke. <laughs> okay, so we are going to let that cook for an additional four minutes. Okay, it's been an additional four minutes, so we're gonna remove our cod, and I'm gonna let mine's rest on a wire rack. And this one broke into pieces, so like I said, it's a delicate, delicate fish. Okay, so we're gonna let this rest. Turn that off, and we're going to move this to the side, and it's hot, because we are done with this. There we go. Now we are going to plate our food, a simple work week meal that's not too heavy. So we're going to put some avocado salsa 
on our plate. And you can have as much as you like. That's your business. <laughs> right there, like such. And now we are going to grab our cod fish and place it right there on the plate. And there you have it. Cod fish with an avocado salsa. Quick, easy, simple meal that you can make on a work week in under 20 minutes. All right, let's give this a taste. Mm. That's good. It's a light, fluffy fish. I would say well seasoned. Let's taste some of the fish with the salsa mixed with it. Let me get an avocado in there. Come on, avocado. There we go. That's a forkful. <laughs> Let's give this a taste. Mm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Y'all, this is my type of eating for real because it's, it's light and you get the taste of the fresh vegetables with it, the acidity in it is perfect. A very good dish, very good dish. So guys, I wanna keep eating. So I'ma let you guys roll on off out of here cause I got something to do, finish eating this plate. And hey, if you cook this dish, give it a try. Tell me what you think, leave a comment down below. Okay guys, so thank you for taking the time to watch this video guys, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.